Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a wired hydraulic door. Hydraulics aren't really that hard to use. Um, they can be used for different things like doors or lifts, or you can use them for um, catapults. I'm just going to teach you the basics of how to use it and how to change the length in order to make a door that will slide from left to right. Uh, first of all, we need to build the door itself. So, just spawn this. Next, I'm going to use a, uh, a good tool called Stacker. You can get this from garysmod.org or from gmodtech.net. To the left or to the right or above, below or back and forth of the prop that you're pointing at. As you can see to the left, there's a ghost. If I just click, the do uh, props being looped, and you can go on and on <laughs> as many as you want. So there we have it. This panel here will slide to the right and to the left, allowing us to walk through this gap. I'll make the gap a lot bigger. Now, if we just uh, go to constraints, then go to slider. Make sure that the force limit is zero. I mean, we shouldn't really need anything like anything higher. Now if we just point at the top middle here and press right click you'll see it goes straight to the prop that, that's opposite it. This saves you having to click then click and get in wonky lines. If you right click it's going to be pretty much straight and we can add another one at the bottom if you want. All slide does is allows your prop to move. So there you have it. See it's just moving left and left and right. What we want to do is make this so when you press a button here this will close and when you press the button again it opens up again and you can walk through it. To do this we need to place a wire hydraulic. If you go to the wire tab, physics menu and go to your hydraulics you come to the menu here. Um, for this we can use fixed I guess it's not really a problem. Width, whatever you want, I'll just use two so you can see the beam. And I'll use a red beam. Same as the slider. Go to the middle, right click. This time though, there's a third click that you need to do. It's the controller. This controller basically shows the length. And when wired up to a button or another device, you can control the length. So right now the length of the door open is 91. You can forget everything else after the decibel, it's not really needed. And then if you want you can create another one. Like I said you don't have to make two. You could just make one slider, one hydraulic, it all works the same. But I just like to make two because I'm difficult like that. Okay so there we have it. The width of our door open, or the length of the hydraulic of the door open is 91. What we need to do is we need to change this length to zero when we press a button. So just go to Y input output menu, go to button, pick what button model you want. I'll just use this. What was the length again? 91. Now the way length works with buttons is just changing the toggle on and toggle off value. Um, the value on button will be the length of our door open, which was 91, wasn't it? Keep forgetting. It was 91. And the value of the door off is 0, which means the length of the hydraulic is 0, which will be closed. Um, tick toggle for this, just so you don't have to keep it held down. Place it there. Okay, so right now it's output is zero, which means when I wire these up, the door will close. So if I just press 91, it will stay open. Now we go to wire, uh, change your settings however you want. Now we wire this up, so we go to length, down to that button, then length, down to that button. If I freeze this, stays open. Now if I press this button, there you go, and it's closed. 
so you can walk through. What I'll do is um, I'll be making another tutorial soon where you can press a button here then press another button here which will do the same thing which will open and close this door. Now you can build whatever you want around this. You can build a fort um, or just to keep people away while you're building your props. This is a very good method and now you know the basics to changing the lengths of hydraulics. Um, that's pretty much it for now, so have fun making what you make.